Hey guys, welcome back to Cobra Vids. Uh, as the title of this video states, uh, am I out of my fucking mind? Well, the title was a little different, but the question remains the same. Am I out of my fucking mind? Um, I woke up today, it's Saturday, and I woke up today and I had this thought that most of you would probably think is insane. I'm sitting inside my new 21 5.0 Mustang here that I've uh, had on my, my channel a couple times and I decided to uh, do something absolutely fucking insane and I'm going to take my 18 year old son out and I'm going to give him the opportunity to drive the Mustang and I've only got 1100 miles on this thing so this is brand new hardly broken in and I'm gonna let my 18 year old son give it a shot we're gonna take it out to some uh, uh, farm roads and to where we won't be bothered and uh, we're gonna see if he can handle it nervous as hell guys here we go <laughs> So Kyler, you excited? Yeah. You yeah. nervous? Yeah. Why are you nervous? Because. Because why? This car is expensive. <laughs> Do you have confidence? Yes. All right. We're almost there. We're getting close. Here we are, guys. We're way the hell out, like uh, 20 miles out in the middle of nowhere, out in the desert somewhere, and we're gonna get flipped around. Um, Kyler's gonna take the driver's seat, and we're gonna see how he does. We're at the end of the road, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna go through the dirt. No. Hold of that. Oh god damn, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Here's a funny thought. When I first got in the car after I bought it. I couldn't figure out how to get it into reverse. So, so I was just playing with it and I actually just rolled it back by gravity in order to get it out of the parking spot at the dealership and then I just drove home. But when I got home, I just, I was playing with it and I realized that you have to lift this up in order to go into reverse, which is kind of a cool little, little feature. It, it prevents you from uh, accidentally sticking it in reverse and gunning it and you know i i've done that before in my old mustang all right well it's in neutral you're gonna leave me on a curve Ooh, brother i'm nervous as hell i'm nervous for my mustang guys all right well we're gonna swap heaven help my mustang Best and tired of driving this thing too. <laughs> okay. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Someone else in my Mustang. I, I don't know, dude. That that's that's crazy. Tell me, America, and any other country that might be watching, does my son belong in this Mustang? Vote down below. <laughs> all right. Well. All right, son. Don't record me first. Learning how to edit. This is a uh, this is a high powered machine. You got. You got like 490 horsepower, 470, 490, somewhere on there. It'll, 
let's just round it up and call it 500 horsepower at your disposal okay so make sure that the seat is up enough to where when you put the clutch all the way down to the floor your knee is bent a little bit you need to move that seat forward the controls are on the left side it's the long bar there you go there you go enough a little more a little more okay that that should do it all right grab the wheel is it comfortable yeah. okay now since the clutch is in put it in first gear and we are going to take our time we're out in the middle of nowhere oh, wait. Okay. there you go so so when you're in third going from third to fourth or fourth to third you don't have to move it side to side but if you need to go into first or second you need to pull it over a little bit and the same goes with fifth or sixth so all right make sure traction controls on we don't want to do a burnout so it should be able to just... all right so so e-brake is on so drop that down you think he's nervous guys hands on the wheel son stop try again a little more gas a little, a little more acceleration and make the turn accelerate accelerate more you're okay son accelerate more accelerate more come on speed up bring it up about 4,000 rpms your clutch should be all the way out clutch in and pull down no 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 let up let up let up you need to pull it all all the way down clutch all the way in second well no no slowly let out the clutch son you're not trying to do a burnout okay now stop clutch in come to a break stick it in neutral Stick it in neutral. Up, up. Clutch all the way in. Your clutch has to be all the way in, son. Okay, now, now get in first. Fifth. There you go. Okay. You have to bring it over. Okay. Let out clutch a little bit more. A little gas, gas, a little more gas. Come on, clutch all the way out. Clutch all the way out. All the way out. Okay, shift. Slowly clutch. You need to remember to get it all, all the way in there. Pull it to, to, to your side. Okay, now stop. Come to stop. Clutch all the way in. All the way down to the floor. Just like on your bike, you pull it all the way in. You don't pull it halfway in. Put it in first. Oh, I thought you, you put no, it in. No, no, just, okay, go. A little more gas. Okay, shift. Visa, a little more. Your hand up there. Shift. Clutch in. Remember, slowly let out the clutch. If you're jerking, Can you're you letting it off one? too fast. All right, slowly let out the clutch. A little more, a little more clutch. A little more gas. Bring it up to about 35 and shift. Remember. Don't let the clutch out too fast. Slowly let it out. That's pretty decent. Look, dude. He, he's doing it. He, he's driving a 5.0. And now shift up into third. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, now let's come to a complete stop. Clutch all the way in. 
remember, if this thing don't go into gear, if the clutch is halfway out. All right. Okay, let's take off again. A little more gas. More smooth, son. Stop. Stop. You can't let out the clutch too fast. Your your acceleration and your your clutch foot has to work in unison together. Clutch all the way in and put it in first. I feel like my shoe is hitting that because I'm coming out. Alright, so let's try again. What do you think, America? Does my son look good driving this car? Accelerate, come on. Clutch all the way out. Smooth clutch out. Remember to back the accelerator off a little bit. Switch. Pretty good. It's going 40 miles an hour in my 5.0. Okay, let's come to a stop now. Clutch all the way in when, when you go into first. Okay. Try try to keep, when you're accelerating, try to keep the RPMs up above 1,000. Because when you go down below 1,000 taking off, you're putting extra stress on on the engine and everything, okay? Oh, right. so like taking off at 1,000? Yeah, above a thousand. RPMs should be above a thousand when you're taking off. Anything below is stress. Go. Yeah, go, man. You, you are. He just killed my fucking Mustang, guys. You said keep it above a thousand. I was trying to get a thousand before taking off. Well, you, you let the clutch out too fast. Wow. That's that's what you did wrong. Okay, so so rev it up a little bit and start letting clutch out, but don't let it out too too fast. Well, that's fucking creeping. <laughs> Come on, hand hand up on the wheel, son. Okay, shift. You're letting the clutch out too fast. When you jerk like that, you're you're popping the clutch. Okay, speed up. Okay, shift again. See, you you pop the clutch again. If you're jerking like that, you're letting the clutch out too fast. Okay, stop. Come to a full stop. You have until my burnout marks. Anytime. Oh, okay. You are in control. I'm just sitting here telling you what you're doing wrong. More gas. Pretty damn good. Rub it up to about 35. Shift. Yeah, there, there, there you go. There you go. Perfect. Looking good. Right. Okay, let's come to a stop. Always keep your hand down. That was pretty good. A little jerky. Is that beef jerky, son? <laughs> okay, let's stop again. Let's try it. 
I was hoping to to tell America that you learned to drive this card without killing it once, but you fucked that up. All right. I had killed it at the most stupidest point, too. <laughs> it feels like the clutch range is more than I thought it was. It's because it has, like, the halfway, and then it has, like, an even more drop, and you're like, wait, what? So it gives me, like, I don't know. Whatever you say, Chief. And then my, my back of my foot keeps catching on this tab as I'm going up. Well, well, then... Okay. Hold on. When you're doing it, you're supposed to keep your foot off the fucking floor mats. So don't touch. Oh, okay. You don't do it like you do the accelerator, okay? This is a full leg motion. Oh, okay. That probably okay? Would help me then. Yeah. Yeah. I was that... using the, uh, the, the floorboard to help me. No, out. no, no. You oh, can't do that. Okay. You can't do that. Your foot cannot be touching the floorboard. Well, you should have told me that in the beginning. I probably would have been better at that. Well, end. I thought that was common fucking sense. Well, I didn't know. All right. So, so let's try it again with this new knowledge. <laughs> oh, wait. That's fit. I don't think do Remember, that. you always have to pull it over. Okay. Let's see. Okay, now stop again. Coming up on those cattle guards. Your lesson's almost over, son. All right. Stick it into first. Now, turn to the camera and tell America what you think about driving a 5.0 Mustang. It's pretty cool. Hearing the sound of the exhaust is pretty cool. Yeah? Yeah. It's yeah. easier than I thought it was. So, so... Would you be ha happy if Dad said, "Well, you've learned how to drive the car enough; you can take your girlfriend out in it"? Oh, well, I know you want to do that. So. Hey, you're absolutely <laughs> fucking right. So, so get over that dream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's continue, man. You're you're doing great. Just yeah, remember, the form. smoother, the better. Hand hand on the fucking wheel, man. What the fuck are you doing? Very good. I didn't even feel it. Great engagement. Damn, what the fuck was that? <laughs> okay, go up to 35 and shift down into fourth. You can go now. No, 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 no. See... Since you're sitting on the left side of the stick shift, you naturally pulled it to the left. Okay, stop. When you're coming to a stop, stick it in neutral so so that if you accidentally let out the clutch, you're not going to fuck shit up. All right. Whenever you're ready. Are we at ready? Marks yet? No, 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 no. We still got a mile or two. Oh, okay. Dang it. Good thing this thing is still under massive warranty. Go up into fourth. Okay. You've you graduated to fourth gear now. Nope, you didn't let off the gas. Oh, uh, I had some of the gas still engaged. Yes, yes, you. It's all about timing. It takes more skill than an automatic transmission. Yeah, fuck yeah, it does. It takes a little different skill than riding a motorcycle. Okay, you can stop. And whenever you come to a stop, make sure there's nobody behind us because people do live out here and you don't want to come to a dead stop in front of somebody. Oh, they're not expecting it. Good. Yeah. I was going to say, it's getting hot in here. I didn't know if it was because I was nervous or what. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, what the heck? You... 
you turned on the the, the seat coolers. <laughs> so so. Is that that? Sound? Yeah. Yeah. That is weird. It runs the AC down down to the bottom vents, and, it and then it blows out. blows cold air through the perforations in the seat. Hmm. It's pretty cool. Okay. All right. Hand up on top. Okay, stop. Keep your hand up on top. Up here is a lot better, okay? Because up here, you come to a full stop. Remember, going to neutral as you're coming to a stop. You won't have to when you get experience, but that's, yeah. I'm saying come to neutral to come to a stop so that you being a new stick driver don't make an error. Okay, now look, look, okay. Here's where your hand wants to be. Make a sudden right hand turn. Okay, right? Okay, now, put it up here. Sudden right hand turn, see? More see, big brain. difference, okay? When you're driving a stick, you want to have your hand up here. Mine usually stays right about here because then when I'm done shifting, it's a natural thing and I can still get the massive left and if you... Okay, so, so... So that's that's a much better place to stick your hand. All right. Ooh, my butt's getting cool. I don't smell any clutch yet. No, you you have not burned burned my clutch at all. Car coming? I don't know. Just fucking go. Screw the car. Well, guys, it hasn't been that bad of an experience. I I told my son that if he killed my engine twice, the lesson would be over. And it would be a cold day in hell. You let the clutch out too fucking fast. It would be a cold day in hell when he got the opportunity to drive my car again. So far, he has not uh, killed it twice. Just one time. And uh, But I think he learned from that mistake. And, uh, I don't. I don't know how I even did that. You just let the clutch out too fast. That's, that's what you do. It's either... You, the most common is you let the clutch out too fast. The other is you didn't add enough gas. But anyway, okay. Come to another stop. We'll do it again. We're, we're almost to my burnout. Maybe after 10 to 500 lessons, I'll let you try a burnout. All right. Flawless now, dude. Flawless. Flawless. Let's let's do it. I don't know about flawless. You can do it. Come on. What the fuck? Say flawless and he gives me a jerk off, man. it will bring you back into your lane. Go up a gear. Another gear? Speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up, and now shift. Nope, nope, you're... Okay. There you go. Not bad, eh? Now you're going 60 in my Mustang. This is scary as shit for me. You think you're nervous? Fuck, man, I'm about to have a fucking heart attack. Not bad. He's driving it. Remember, I have a dash cam that will alert me if if my car is uh, taken out by you. Because I got the facial recognition. If it sees your face in this car, it rings my phone and says, Kid alert, kid alert. Okay, now 
at the top of this hill here. I don't even remember. I didn't even see it in my burnout. Okay. We had to go past it. You come, come to a stop. Come to a stop. Come to a full stop. Okay, now put the e-brake on. Okay. We're swapping back over. Dang, you don't want me to drive back into the town? No, I don't want you to drive through town. I don't really want to drive through town. Well, guys, it's over. Whew. My heart rate can go down now. Uh, there was a little bit of torture that uh, that this guy put on my car, but uh, but for the most part, he uh, he he did pretty good. So we'll uh, we're gonna wrap it up here. I can't do it we'll be wrapping it up pretty soon. Um, all right. Thoughts. What's the difference between uh, driving one of these and a motorcycle? Well, it's a lot more expensive. But <laughs> besides that, I don't know if it's because I'm more experienced on a motorcycle or what, but it feels like it's timing is not more key on a motorcycle than it is on a car. The motorcycle clutch is a little more forgiving. Yeah, you, yeah. Can, you could definitely shift it later, you know. Yeah. The timing, you don't have to get it even. I think I can agree with that. Alright guys, thank you for watching Cobra Vids and my son learning how to drive my Mustang. If you haven't done so already, guys, subscribe, like, and ring the bell. Don't forget to turn on those notifications because you won't be able to see the next time I'm brave enough or have the balls to let him drive my Mustang because it will come up. It will be soon. Um, another lesson coming up. Uh, I got my wife that's uh, going to be learning to uh, drive this thing too, and I can guarantee she won't let me record that. But uh, little does she know, I got my uh, dash cam there. <laughs> so anyway guys, we'll catch you later. See you next time.